Hi, my name is Samir Malik. I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students here in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to describe and see how we use Venn diagrams. Now Venn diagrams are used commonly when you have two different set of numbers or three different sets of numbers and you're trying to calculate the differences for those different sets and um, you're also trying to calculate with those Venn diagrams to see what the similarities are. So they can differentiate the two sets and they'll give you the similarities all in a visible diagram. So I like to illustrate this with an example because I think this is the best way we can understand how Venn diagrams are used. We're going to use a Venn diagram to arrange the sets of test scores for boys and girls in a class. So let's go ahead and write down the test scores for the boys first. Test scores for boys. And we'll say 90%, 80%, 75%, and 30%. And then we'll have test scores for the girls. For girls, and we'll have 80%, 75%, 20%, and 100%. Now that we have the test scores for the boys and girls, we'll use a Venn diagram to illustrate these scores, and we'll also use that to see what they have in common. So we'll have boys' scores on the left, girls' scores on the right. For boys, we have 90, and we realize from our scores that 80 is common and 75 is common for both boys and girls. So for boys, we'll put 90 and 30 percent on the boys section, and for the girls section, we'll put 20 percent and 100 percent in the girls section, and what they have in common is 80 percent and 75 percent, so we have 80 percent and we have 75% which are common for both boys and girls. So this is how we've illustrated the test scores for boys and girls by using a Venn diagram. So from this example we're able to see how a Venn diagram works and the benefits of actually using a Venn diagram because you're able to illustrate and see differences as well as similarities with a set of numbers.